It's Friday, January 25th, 2013, and let's talk about what happened this week over at xdadevelopers.com. To start things off, a little bit of development news. First and foremost, XDA is, of course, a development site. We're all about new developments for devices, new developments for whatever, and learning how to develop. We've talked a lot in the past about different tutorials you can go to, XDA University, and also all of the videos done by Adam Outler on this channel for Android development. There were even some Windows Phone app development tutorials from Lance along the way. Well, the one thing that's sort of consistent among the tutorials is they're kind of PC tethered related, meaning that in general, you kind of have to have a desktop or a laptop in front of you to do any of the learning. Well, XDA senior member Severa Dev saw this problem and decided to take care of it on his own by writing an Android app he calls Leia. Learn Android in Android. And essentially it does what the name says. It teaches you how to develop for Android inside of Android. So you can on your mobile device, on your tablet, your phone, whatever else you've got that's Android, you can take it with you and you can be on the bus or at work or at home and have the exact same interface because you've got the same device learning your Android experience. And what's even better, he made the app open source. So if you don't like the way that it's going, if you wanna do your own thing, if you wanna make it better, you can contribute to it, you can fork it, you can do whatever you want to with it, it's open source. So you're combining Android development with open source, two things that I'm very keen on coming together two thumbs up. Next up, excellent article written by Conan Troutman talking about ADB. Might seem rather low level, might seem rather entry to a lot of you guys, a lot of developers out there, but there are still a lot of beginners out there. There are a lot of people that quite honestly could stand a refresher on it. So we have an article out there now, loads and loads of information on ADB. And actually most of the information isn't even contained in the article. It's just links to other places where you can actually find the stuff you'll need, ranging from things like command line tutorials all the way up to using GUI tools to make things happen. So you can quickly and easily become acclimated to using ADB in your everyday life. The next story I thought I'd talk about, some of you guys might be interested in if you're into graphics design. There's an excellent little word that I'm very fond of called crowdsourcing, and XDA has decided to do some of just that and throw a contest on top of it. As you know, if you remember, XDA has partnered up with Cruiser Light to start selling t-shirts and phone cases and things like that. Well, things have apparently gone so well with all of this that they've decided to outsource, crowdsource actually, the next logo to be used on the next set of products. And now just a few specifics on the contest itself. You must submit a logo to shirt at xdadevelopers.com by midnight GMT minus eight on February 28th, 2013. You must include your XDA user ID in order to be attributed for the image. The logo must be at least 300 DPI in a rec recognized vector format such as PNG, PSD, or SVG. You must use at least the letters XDA from the existing logo that's included in the portal post. The winning entry will be decided by the community and they will have that featured on the next set of cases and shirts and things that come out of Cruiser Light. And the winner will be compensated with some goodies from Cruiser Light directly. So if you're graphically talented like I am not, definitely feel free to take a look at this, see if this is something you're interested in participating in. Finally, a couple of other bits of XDA-specific news. A couple of new forums were added this week that were noteworthy, specifically the Sony Xperia Z and Firefox OS. Honestly, I would assume that the ZL will probably be included in the Xperia Z forums, so you might want to check on that if that's a device that you're actually looking at. Also, two other videos have been put out this week. Both of them were app reviews done by TK. The first one was about keeping your device's screen on with an app called Keep Screen. I actually have used this application when I used to play Ingress where you select whatever apps you want, you start the service up, and it just keeps the screen on anytime that app is running. The other app he talked about was Spy Camera OS. The OS standing for open source, again, two thumbs up for that. Spy Camera, that's entirely up to you. I'm gonna leave you up to your better judgment on that one. So do make sure to check out those videos if those apps sound interesting to you. That's it for me for today. Make sure to like this video if you like this video and subscribe to this channel if you have not already. We do always appreciate new subscriptions. But as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.